Hey YouTube, I'm the Tall Nerd. Welcome back once again. And it is finally Tuesday, which means Ruby Volume 5 Chapter 1 came out today, if you are a member on Rooster Teeth's website. If not, it will be coming out on YouTube for everyone on Saturday, just a few days away from when I'm recording this, even shorter from when I'm uploading this. And I, okay, so first things first, I just watched the episode and I actually recorded my reaction to it. Uh, it it's a little different, something I haven't done before, I just wanted to give it a try. But Rooster Teeth has this basically standing request that all uh, reactors on YouTube wait to upload their reactions until the video is available on YouTube rather than on their website, which, you know, makes sense. It would be kind of really lame for everybody on YouTube to be getting uh, the videos early because reactors were uploading them early. Uh, I don't want to do that. I respect Rooster Teeth a lot. I love the, their content. I love the stuff that they do. I don't want to do that. So I did record my reaction, but that's not going to go up until Saturday when the rest go up and when the video is live on YouTube. So, you know, watch for that. It's, it's hopefully, hopefully, everybody out there thinks it's a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun recording it, actually. It was... It was fun getting to give my thoughts. I, I don't give huge emotional reactions most of the time, but I do, you know, sort of commentate uh, on the episode. Just sort of thoughts that come into my head. And getting into that, I want to talk for just a couple of minutes about the episode. No spoilers, just sort of um, my f general first reactions. Uh, for example, first reaction, it was good. I actually really enjoyed it. Uh, the first thing that I noticed was that the art was beautiful. The animation was amazing. There were a lot of little details uh, that I started noticing that were... Oh, man. It, again, you have to see it for yourself because it's gorgeous. Every single volume, Rooster Teeth is stepping up their animation game. And it, it's definitely true here. Uh, next up, I love the direction that everything's moving. Uh, the characters are making real progress towards specific goals. Uh, everybody is... everybody has a destination. Uh, Ruby and her group, they reached their destination at the end of last season, but that doesn't mean their work is done. That, that just means that they can start their actual mission, the thing they're actually here to do. Um, Blake is dealing with her own stuff at home in Menagerie. Yang and Weiss are traveling to try to get somewhere, and I love that there's this real sense of motion. In in the last volume, there was a lot of just sort of sitting around, which is weird considering that most of the season was Ruby and Jean and them traveling. It was them on the road, but the roads were very, you know, all the same. You couldn't really tell that things were happening, and the other three members of Team Ruby just stayed in one location the entire time. So I've personally found that kind of dull, and now everybody's moving, it just... It feels like a lot of the build-up from last season is finally, you know, just almost... just right there at the tipping point. Like, everything is about to happen. Last season it was just kind of building, 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 and this first episode is still a lot of the same. The tension is building. You're starting to understand things a little bit more. You're starting to see how plots and characters are probably going to intertwine during the season. But at least personally, it felt like they like they're winding the spring. Those la just just those last couple of turns before everything just breaks loose and just goes nuts. That's what I'm hoping for, at least. And. I think that this was a good step. There were some there there were some good moments uh, with the different characters showing their growth, showing how they've changed, uh, and and showing how they've stayed the same in some ways as well. Uh, overall, I would say that this was a really good way to start the season. It wasn't this huge action-packed adventure, you know, just just show up and start fighting things. It was much slower. It felt like the beginning. Of a story. It felt like, you know, here's where we start. 
We're going to build up to something much, much bigger. We're going to get to the point where we can have these massive, amazing fights. But we need to earn it first. We need to have a reason in the story why they're happening. So I actually really enjoyed it. I think that this was definitely a good step in the right direction. Um, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens over the next few weeks, uh, over the entire season. There's going to be 14 episodes this year, which is awesome. We're getting two more than normal. And, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. I think that Ruby has a very strong future. And what can I say? I, I just love this show, and I cannot wait for next week. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've seen it already. Please don't post please don't post any spoilers in the comment section here because the video is not out on YouTube. And I very intentionally tried not to give any spoilers here. So please just go along with that. Also, like and subscribe if you enjoy anything that I had to say in this video. And until next time, please have a great day.